Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we're going to have a look at some decorative masks. They're called Plenty of Patterns Decorative Masks. They're in the new catalogue and they are, I will leave a link down below for you. They are just absolutely lovely. We've got this one which we're going to use today, which has got the four different sort of Baroque type shapes. We've got this one, which again is absolutely lovely because it's sort of geometric um, triangles and, and patterns. We've got this one, which is um, sort of little flowers, uh, which again, I think is very pretty. And then we've got this one, which again, you can have that way up or that way up and it's just sort of scallops or scales or, or something but this one I thought was absolutely lovely and what we're going to do is we're going to make four cards now I've done I've just taken a sheet of A4 cardstock and I've just put a little bit of masking tape on the top and hinged it to hold it in place I've also got a scrap piece underneath because we're going to be going sort of slightly off the edges, um, I think. And I've got sponge daubers because I think sponge daubers are the best um, to use for this because they go into all those sort of intricate little nooks and crannies. We're going to use a variety of colours, but we're going to start, let's start with this one down at the bottom. And I'm going to use a combination of Granny Apple Green, Pacific Point and Bermuda Bay because blending them in together is a really nice thing to do with um, the mask because you get these lovely tones of colours. So let's start with the Pacific Point and I'm literally just going to go all the way across in the Pacific Point. So you just literally rub it through, go down into all of the little nooks and crannies. And this is where the sponge dauber works really well because it will go into, as I say, all of those little nooks and crannies. So we're putting a base layer down in one colour. And I'm just going across on each one. Now these masks are six inches by six inches, which means that we can cut them into three by three cards. So what I'm hoping to do at the end of this is to show you three different cards that you can use with this one decorative mask. Okay, so that's the Pacific Point. I'm now going to take the um, Bermuda Bay and as I say I would choose three tonal colours you don't want too many because then you don't sort of show them but um, the Pacific Point looks really good with this so again all I'm going to do is to just take this through on the different areas and this is sort of a slightly greenier um, blue it's probably a little bit difficult to see on the camera as much I can see it quite clearly but they do look a little bit similar um, on the camera so you know you'll have to excuse that so I've just done those in a few bits and then we're going to take the granny apple green and we're going to do that one. Let me just grab my granny apple green. And that's going to come in over the top on different areas. Now you can see this one quite sort of clearly. And I'm not doing it all over. I'm just doing it sort of in little pieces here and there. Because that's why I want to build up those different sort of tones of colour just coming through here and there so you haven't got it everywhere but you've got these lovely sort of tones and then if you want to go back in again to just give a little bit of extra colour in there I would go in with the Pacific Point 
which is the darker one and just do a little bit of extra blending here and there where I might want some pieces that are just a little bit darker. So you can see how you can sort of blend it through in the different colours and I think that that will be fine. So there's going to be a reveal at the end because I want to try all of the different ones. So the next one I'm going to do, we're going to use three colours again, Bumblebee, Calypso Coral and we're going to use the new Pale Papaya. So I'm going to do it the other way round this time and I'm going to do everything in the Pale Papaya because I want this one to have the different tones. So let me get my Pale Papaya out and we'll do this one down on here. So this one again, just take it through and you can see some of these are beautifully intricate. Um, and as I say, I think they work or will work beautifully with all sorts of different colourways, which is why I wanted to try with some different colourways to just see how they would work. So it's coming down on here. And if you are doing this directly onto cardstock, and this one we're going to cut them out into three by three, so we'll end up with three different cards, sorry, four different cards. If you're doing it straight down, you do need to be aware that the edges are really quite tight. So if we look on here, you'll see that I've gone just outside. So you may well want to mask your... Um, paper that you're going to cut it in. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the bumblebee, which is always, some of them open easier than others. The bumblebee is just a little bit um, difficult to open. And this time we're just going to take some bumblebee in on different areas. So I think these circly bits might look quite nice in bumblebee to take that one as well because I've got a little bit out and maybe that one down on there so I'm just sort of spreading it about a little bit but not too much and then the Calypso Coral is just going to give a little bit of a darker hue and we'll do that one in that's my Calypso Coral we'll do that one just just a little bit I don't want too much of it because I think it's going to make it look a little bit too too bright I quite like it round maybe on the center some of these little bits on here so you can just sort of literally dot it about here and there without being sort of over and that's all I'm going to do on that one so we'll see what that looks like and then I'm going to take, I've got three purpley pink hues. So I've got polished pink, fresh freesia and gorgeous grape. And I think I might do, because I've got two left, I'm going to do one in just two colours. So I'm going to do one in the fresh freesia and the gorgeous grape. And then I'll do the other one. Not quite sure how I'm going to do the other one yet. We'll see as it happens. So um, fresh freesia. Have I got a haven't got a sponge dauber for that one yet? So let's do this one in the fresh freesia. And again, I tend to start, you can start wherever you want actually. There's no sort of right or wrong. You just need to be able to go through on where the mask is so I'm just as I say taking it right the way around they're really easy to use our masks um, they washed wash perfectly once you've finished just run them under the tap um, just with plain water and you know dry them off and then they're ready to use again so this is the fresh freesia and you can see that some of the parts are coming darker than others. That's absolutely fine. 
because it gives that when you're doing it in two different colours or several different colours, you will get that nice sort of shading coming in. So I'm just going to take it through in on here. A little bit more in the centre here, I think. OK, so that's with the Fresh Freesia. Then I'm going to take the Gorgeous Grape. So let's see how the Gorgeous Grape works together. Um, right, that's Gorgeous Grape. And again, Gorgeous Grape is quite dark. So I'm going to be just trying it out a little bit. Oh, yes, that's quite nice. So the Gorgeous Grape will give some lovely two tones in here. So you can see I'm just doing little bits here and there, not overly doing it because I don't want it to be covering too much of it, but just little bits here and there to give that colour. And this is going to be fairly subtle on this one, I think, which is going to be quite nice. OK, so that's that one. And then the last one I'm going to do in, let's make it really bright. So we're going to do it in the polished pink and the gorgeous grape. So polished pink, have I got one of those? No, I haven't. So I'm going to take a new one of those. Our sponge daubers come in fours, so that's really good. I just happen to have a case for mine that um, that I got um, online somewhere I think but they store them all so I use a different sponge dauber for each one of them um, it means that if you're doing something where you haven't got a lot of um, you only want just a little bit of colour you don't even need to re-ink them you can just do them um, with what's left because you'll always get some residue left on your sponge dauber so you can do it that way if you want to and I've just built my collection up over the years um, you know it's the sort of thing buy a packet when you place an order uh, and then you you know you quite quickly build up quite a collection right so that's that one and then we're going to use the gorgeous grape because as I say I want this to be really dark. So let's take the gorgeous grape again. And we're going to put this one in on here and just add some really nice sort of dark parts in on here. So I'm just I'm blending it through a little bit more than I've done on the other ones because I like that sort of two tone of colour but it's not coming everywhere but it's coming quite a bit so as I say it gives you that two tone of colour coming through and you can just sort of see through where you want it to come so as I say there's two shades okay so that's four of them so let me just put my ink pads out of the way and then what I need to do is to very carefully take this off. Oh, yes, those are going to be lovely. And I just need to take my mask carefully off the back. If you do it slowly, it will come off relatively easily. And if it does tear a little bit, it doesn't matter too much because it's on the back. So I want this one to come off. Come on. Right, so I can put that just to one side and I will wash that when I've finished. OK, so we can see on here we've got three absolutely beautiful masks. So I'm going to get my paper trimmer out and we're going to cut these down into, because they should be, let's make sure I'm in view for you. Yes, I am. So if we cut this down, this is exactly six inches. So I should be able to cut it straight down on the six inches. The nice thing about our paper trimmer is it's exactly six inches. So I'm going to take that down to there. And then I'm going to cut this one down to 
six inches as well on this side. Then I can cut this right down the middle at three inches. So I just need to make sure that I've got that nice and centered at three inches. And then we can cut this down at the three inches. I'm trying to do it over my head. So that gives us one, two, and then we'll take this one and we'll put this one in here. So that gives you four totally different looking pieces, which will work perfectly for some cards. So let's have a little look and see what we can do with these cards so let me take this piece away because uh, i don't need that at the moment oh i've got some other bits that i'm going to be showing you later on let's move those out of the way a little bit of a sneak peek without a sneak peek okay so we've got these four pieces and i think i want to make something fairly sort of plain and simple with these so love the way these have blended through they just look beautiful so um i've got some let me have a look i've got my little bag here with different pieces of just plain white cardstock so let me see what i've already got cut here so i've got one piece here so let's see put this one in on there and so that's two, that's three, that's one I've got for a mask, and that one is doing it out of shot so you couldn't see, that'll do, it's got a little mark on it, yeah that'll be fine, and that's four, okay. Now we want bases that are going to mix in with those colours, so um, I need a couple of let's see what i've got so this is sort of matching things up we've got this one so if we put this on here like that and we put this one in on there that gives us a really nice combination there so we can work with that one um we want one which is blue so let me do i've got a blue piece here so we'll put this one on here, which is the Pacific point with those blues and greens. That will work with that one. Um, we want a purpley one. Let's see, have I got anything that's purple in? I always cut a few bases and things out. Um, not all the time. I've got this, which is grey, so smoky slate. In fact, is that the right... No, that's cut at the wrong angle, isn't it? Let me let me have a look at my pack that I've got out and very quickly see for... Um, okay, that's a grey one. I think we'll have one in grey and we'll have one in a... We want to have one in a darker purpley pink, don't we, rather than that light. I don't know whether I've got one cut in there. That's something that's a bit older, um, but that might work. So, you know, whatever card stocks that you've got, that will work on that one. That's quite pale. That's actually too big. I'm faffing about finding my bases, but this is how I work with my colours. So I look at things with colours to try and have things that will blend in and work quite nicely with things. Um, so I haven't, oh, actually, let's do it this way round. I've got a, right, I've got a pale papaya piece here. So we'll put this on there and we'll have that with the pale papaya. That will work beautifully, yes, like that. And then this one we'll just have with grace to show that you can do it with sort of subtles and things in there. So that's going to work in like that 
Okay, so we now need to turn these into cards. Now you can make them as complicated or as simple as you want. Um, I'm going to try and do something to make them very simple, but using a um, a sentiment which is a statement piece. And I think this is work. I love this light-hearted lines. I think that they are just hysterical, but um, but brilliant as well. So. To a person who still got it, but might not remember where they put it, happy birthday. When nothing goes right, go left. I'm sorry for what I said when I was hangry, instead of angry and hungry together. Don't grow up, it's a trap. Thanks for lending an ear and keeping a straight face. Everything is figure outable. Plot twist. I hate to break it to you, but you're stuck with me, friends forever. So I quite like those and I think that some of these might work quite well. Um, I've actually cut some out in, in die cuts and things. So um, we'll, just, we'll just have a little go and see what will work with these. Now I have cut some of these out to be using at another time. But I can look at this and see whether it's going to. Yes, it is. Okay, so... We're just going to take um, and put these down and we can have, let's have, this is, um, I'm just going to turn my light on because it's just about to pour with rain. So excuse me if you've got lighting and patterning and things coming on, but it's one of those days here in England where we have brilliant sunshine one minute and then I think we're supposed to have thunder and lightning later on. So anyway, I'm putting this one onto a block and I'm going to do it in the coordinating colours. So if we have this one first, only because I quite like that one and that will go for a masculine card as well. I'm going to put this and I don't know whether I'll have time to do all the sticking, but um, I want this to be in the Pacific point so let me just get my pacific point without getting i've just stuck my finger in my mask and we're going to just put this in like this make sure i've inked it up i need to re-ink my pacific point so put this on here roughly where i want it and then I can look and go and say, right, my sentiment is going to come down like this. Everything is figure outable. OK, so that will then go in on here. Like that. And we can have this piece just in the centre as a, as a focal point. Now, you can dress this up with, um, and we might try and do some of these, but you can um, put gems and pearls and, and all sorts of things on there to just really, really jazz it up. But I'm just trying to keep it fairly simple, show you some ideas and some new sets. And, okay, so I like that one. Um, this one is going to be in the polished pink. So let me just get that one out. I'm going to put this mask out of the way so it doesn't get in everywhere. Um, so let's take another of these sentiments. Um, so we can have, um, I'm just going to do them fairly randomly. Um, so we'll take this, which is the next one. What's this one? Um, don't grow up, it's a trap. <laughs> I like that. Because um, these would work for masculine, feminine, just sort of, you know, just because cards. Um, and I quite like, I do quite a few just because cards. So I'm going to put this one out of the way for a minute. And we'll take this one. And this is don't grow up, it's a trap. So we'll have this just down on the bottom here. Don't grow up, it's a trap. And then we've got the purple. Let's have a look at this. 
so this is um, I need a slightly square block for this one have I got a square block out don't know I might have to get one out let's have a little look in my case and see for a slightly square that one will do always keep my case handy to just add things in so we've got this one which is a thank you which I think is quite nice let's just make sure I've got that straight Yes, it's absolutely pouring down now, so it's got incredibly dark, which I hope is not going to... Um, I've had to put a light on. I try and keep as much natural light as I can, but that's really not going to work very well. So let's take the this one we're going to have with the... Um, and this is on grey, but I quite like the... Um, the grey makes it a little subtler put this on like this just lined up a bit and then we'll have the this is a big thanks one which is good so we'll link this one up and this is thanks for I can't see exactly what it says but we'll have it just down at the bottom thanks for lending an ear and keeping a straight face so that works well and then we've got the pale papaya one and we'll have the pale papaya with let me have a look and see um, so the pale papaya can be um, want something that's a little bit um, trying to work out on there's a happy birthday one isn't it that will work quite nicely let's have the happy birthday one so this is a happy birthday. As I say, there's some fantastic sentiments in this. And if you've got, you know, a bit of a sense of humour, which I have, I think they work absolutely beautifully. I need to make sure that that's straight. That should be fine. Move this one out of the way a minute. Bring this one down, which is the one with the pale papaya. Like that. That one sort of up in the top and I'm going to stamp it in I'm going to stamp it in the pale papaya because I want it to be um, as toned in as I can and then we can have a look at them and decide which ones we think are the best and how to then take a few of them up to the next level so this is going to go in like that Oh, upside down. Well, that's good. It'll have to be that way up, won't it? No, I don't want it that way up. Let's put it. Helps to look at. We have two sides to a piece of cardstock. So we'll put this on here. Have that on there. Let me stamp it up again and make sure that I get it the right way around. So to a right, it has to come that way. That's it. To a person who's still got it but might not remember where they put it, happy birthday. Okay, so we've got some funny verses on there. We've got some really rather nice patterns. And then we can then just add some things to jazz it up or keep it as it is, depending how we feel. So let me just put these bits out of the way bring them back on um, as I say I'm not going to glue them now because that will take too long but I just wanted to sort of show you how you can do quite a simple mask and a sentiment with minimum minimal color palette and make some really rather fun cards so we've got this one We've got that one. We've got this one. And we've got this one. And they look really lovely with these different coloured masks and things. I hope you can see this one at the bottom. Let me just see. It might be too far out. I have to move that up just a little bit like that. Um, okay, so... 
just a little thing of maybe adding something to it I have and this is another stamp set that we're looking at later on it's called colour and contour you could put a flower in the centre so for the birthday that just jazzes it up a bit put a flower in um, some of these ones if you wanted to jazz those up again you could put something in the centre um, in fact I've got another flower cut in the see that would work lovely in the center of those um, oh and in fact I've got one that'll go in there so I did those in our colors so you could put a flower in the center which just jazzes it up or you could take um, some of our gems and literally just do um, them in little pieces around there so what we've used today because we've used quite a few different things we have used the new and I need to read the label. So we've used the new Plenty of Patterns Decorative Masks. Um, and as I say, I will put links to all of these down below. And we've then used the Light Hearted Lines, which have these lovely, um, whimsical, funny, I love, I love things like that, which work for, as I say, younger people and also, you know, just as funnies. Um, so the light hearted lines and then we've used just a few of the flowers from the colour and contour which I'm going to be showing later on. So four cards, really simply done, beautiful masks on there, hope you enjoyed it, look forward to seeing you again and as always please stay safe and well and please be kind, bye bye.